Hi, it's Greg Harrell here. And I just want to do a small tip tonight on Vim uh, about keywords and word-based movement. Because uh, this is something that drives me up the wall. Uh, I'm going to show you an auto-loaded file. It doesn't even matter. I just pick one at random, basically. Um, no, this is not an auto-loaded file. Let's find an actual auto-loaded file. Like, say that one. Um, so you notice that in auto-loaded files, the function names contain uh, pounds or hash symbols. And uh, they are considered keyword characters. So if I do delete word here, DW, it deletes the whole function name, which isn't actually what I wanted. I mean, maybe in some world you could argue that you know, a function name should be a word. Uh, but for me, pound looks so much like punctuation that I do not want to delete the whole thing when I hit DW. Um, so why is it doing that? Well, if we look at the is keyword setting, um, you'll see that pound is in it. Um, and from actually, let me go to another place here is keyword. Um, this is described in here. You'll notice that if I look at is keyword in the help, I get a different range. So this is obviously buffer specific uh, and language specific. So by doing verbose set, I can see where this was set. And of course it is set from inside a plugin file. So basically I want to override this. Um, so if I do set is keyword, uh, if I could type because it's kind of hard, minus equals that. It's not there anymore. And if I do DW, it does what I wanted it to. So now, well now we just have to make this automatic. So let's set up something in Vim after ft plugin vim.vim, which I obviously have never done before. Set local is keyword my, uh, minus equals hash. Now let's get out of Vim, see if that worked. Go to another auto loaded thing, like say that one. Um, where's a pound? Cool. It worked. Um, sorry to be so terse, but my bus is about to arrive. So that's the entirety of this tip. Um, be aware that if you don't like the way word-based selection works, you can override it on a per, per, uh, per file basis. Um, I'll be back soon with a longer and more meaty screencast. Um, but in the meantime, thanks for tuning in. And if you like this stuff, subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you again soon.